Hey y'all, it's your girl Simona. Welcome back to my channel. If y'all can see by the title, today is another story time. So before we get into this video, y'all already know what to do. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give your girl a thumbs up, comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials, Instagram at Viva La Yoshi, TikTok and Twitter at Life with Simone. Follow my business page, Abrashari. Y'all been showing up out. I got new styles coming soon. I hear y'all about them crossbodies. They on the way. I hear y'all about the restocks. They on the way. So make sure y'all go ahead and follow. So let's get straight into this story. So y'all, this take place back when I was in high school. We going back. Oldie but goodie. Y'all already know your girl. I was going to say I'm 18. I lived a crazy life. Y'all know that song. But if you don't, you don't. Anyway. But yeah, I was not 18 in this story. Anyway, let me fin let me do the story. So y'all, this story when I was in high school going to one of the many high schools I went to. So it was this girl at school. Like, okay. When I was in school, at this point, I don't know what it was. Like, I'm really an introvert, extrovert. Like, one, I could be very, very social, or sometimes I like to just be in my own little world to myself. I had friends at school, don't get me wrong, that's not what I'm saying, but I... I would, okay, you know how it'd be like kids that like everybody know them and stuff like that. Like they'd be like, oh, come hang out with us, stuff like that. But I would rather hang out with my one friend. And plus, I ain't even gonna lie, the girl that I hung out with all the time, they kind of act funny style towards her. So it's like, I'm not about to go hang out with a group of people and this girl's really like my friend. Not saying they wasn't, but y'all act funny towards her and it'd be like, y'all telling me to come over here at the table with y'all, but y'all not really inviting her, you know? So I don't know. So yeah. So anyway, it was this girl that was at the school or whatever we gonna name her melanie it ain't nowhere no one in her name at all but anyway yeah so anyway this girl named melanie every time at school like sometimes i used to wear my hair blow dried out i don't know why i just did so i wear my hair blow dried out with a headband on something i don't know so she had she would always come and play in my hair like all the time she's like your hair is so thick your hair is so long Ooh, i want to braid your hair one day like you should let me braid your hair da, da 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 all this other stuff like that but seeing her hair when she would wear her real hair sometimes i'm like baby you ain't finna put not a motherfucking pinky in my mouth if my shit gonna end up looking like yo i'm good anyway but yeah she used to always play in my hair mind you i had already knew old girl and stuff like that like we'll talk but that's really how our conversation would start off with her coming to play in my hair so one day she we so this was like after school like a random ass day i was at carl's jr and i had seen her and she was like what are you doing over here so i'm like girl i live up the street like i literally live over there so she was like girl what me too like i live that way though so i'm like oh that's crazy so we start talking she's like we live by each other like we gotta start hanging out outside of school and all this other stuff right so one day we at school and she came up to me and she was just like, Simone, like, when we gonna start hanging out outside of school? So I'm like, it was so random. Cause mind you, when I seen her at Carl's Jr., even though like we'll speak at school, like I said, when I seen her at Carl's Jr., probably was like a week or two weeks ago. So she's like, when we gonna start hanging out outside of school? So I'm like, whenever, like, I don't mind. So she's like, all right, cool. So one day we leave at school and she asked me if I wanted to ride home. So I'm like, all right, cool. Cause I didn't want to go catch the bus home and shit like that. So she asked me for a ride. So then rides started turning into like, not every day because i don't want to ask somebody for a ride every day even though her dad didn't care but it would be me and this boy too but like it turned into kind of like every other day type thing so mind you she give me rides it's been like two weeks so i come to school one day this girl she don't need no dang she she do play a part in one of these stories but i don't feel like thinking of no name first so she don't need no name she asked me it was her and like a whole bunch of other girls and like these boys they was like we be seeing you leave with melanie all the time like what's up with that so i'm like oh no like she cool she be giving me a ride home and shit like that mind you they friends with melanie they just fake as hell but my at this time y'all know well i don't know nowadays it's different but back then when people was coming out like melanie was by but people it was like a people was kind of more scared back then like it wasn't as common so people would kind of be weird about it so they was like okay because we thinking like you talk to melanie like you know like and i'm like yeah she cool they like nah like you know melanie like girls and it used to be rumors that melanie used to go eat <laughs> used to eat she in the bathroom or like random like during class period and stuff the other girls like i don't know but i ain't know nothing about that well i, I heard about it i ain't gonna lie I may have walked in in the bathroom and heard something coming from a stall. But, you know, I don't know who was behind there. So, anyway, so they like, oh, we thought, you know, like, basically, like, you like, like, y'all on some, y'all like each other type shit. So, this is when that Boosie song was out. So, this boy, he was all like, you know that song, They Dyke It. So, the boy was like, They Dyke It, They Dyke It. They, he just singing it and laughing. So, I'm like, nah, like, Melanie cool, like, we don't we ain't on that type of level with each other they was like oh we always be seeing her playing in your hair and doing this and that something like dang it kind of probably is giving like she caressed my hair i go home with her at night i mean after school but i'm like nah it ain't even like that 
So they like, oh, okay. So they asked me. One of the girls was like, Simone, do you like girls? Like, and at this point, I ain't gonna lie. I said, I don't know, <laughs> y'all, because I had, a, I, I ain't gotta tell y'all that story. But when I was in middle school, I was in love with a stud, and I didn't know she was a stud. I thought she was a boy, y'all, the whole time. And I'm telling people like, oh yeah, I was really gonna shoot my shot and all of that, y'all. And come to find, I don't know if I mentioned this to y'all, <laughs> but it was, it's a whole thing. And come to find out, it was a girl, and I was like, damn, I don't know what I like, honestly, because at this point. I'm like I really had deep feelings for her in which obvious everybody was like it's clear that that was a girl that's a whole nother story time though <laughs> it was like small it was clear as hell that was a girl you just don't and so yeah at this point I'm like I don't know honestly I don't know what I like I, I don't know so they like what they like oh yeah and the boy like yeah they dark and they dark and they mess with each other you be going to her house let me find out she be eating you out in the bathroom so i'm like nah <laughs> like ain't none of that even happening so anyway she ended up coming up to me because like i said she hang with these group of people so i don't even know why they fake as hell they used to love talking shit about her behind her back she was always coming to school she'd be fly as fuck she came up to me and she was like simone you want to come like it was friday she was like simone you want to come to my house today so I'm thinking like, damn, this bitch choose the right time. Now they really think we over here bump she's at her house. So I'm like, um, okay. Like, cause I ain't had shit else to do. So I'm like, all right. She was like, yeah, we could go do something. Like, we could have fun. <laughs> but she was like, I'm going to tell you about it later. Like, she didn't want to say too much. So they looking like, oh, okay. So I'm like, all right, bye, y'all. I'm about to go hang out with my friend. So after school, I ended up calling my mama, told me like, tell her like, can I go to Melanie house? So she's like, oh, okay, yeah, you could go, whatever. Just be home at this time or whatever. So I ended up going to Melanie house or whatever. And her sister girlfriend, because her sister was gay too. Her sister girlfriend was there. And she was like, um, like you going to come with us or whatever? Like they had somewhere to go. So she was like, oh shit. Like she forgot that she had plans with the sister girlfriend. So she was like, oh, I forgot. Like, Simone, you want to just come with us? So I was like, all right, where are we going? So she was just like, just to go get a few things. Like, I just need no, some new clothes, some new shoes. She was like, and your girl, I'll get you some clothes and shoes too. Like, you can get whatever you want. So I'm thinking like, I was always curious though. I thought the girl just had a lot of money or something because she would be school fly, like fly as hell. Louis bags, all that. Like she just was real fly. So, so she was like, yeah, we're going to go with her though mind you her sister was grown like grown 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 so let's say if we was in like the ninth or tenth grade her sister had to have been like 24 and her sister girlfriend was 24 as well so i'm already thinking like okay maybe she gonna be all right because um, so we i don't know i just didn't understand why they was hanging out it was weird but yeah so anyway, so we at her house and I'm like, damn, I still got my school clothes on. Like I want to change or whatever. So she was like, you could put something on, like put some of my clothes on or whatever. So I'm over here. I don't even like wearing people clothes because I don't got time for a bitch to be like, bitch, you was talking all that shit in my motherfucking shorts. And it'd be like, girl, what? I had no choice. But anyway, so I'm going through her stuff. We find stuff to wear or whatever. The girl was like, y'all got to dress a little different. Like don't be too comfortable because I was just going to put on some leggings and call it a day. I just needed something for like at the bottom. So I'm like, I was just gonna put on some leggings or whatever. So she's like, no, no, you gotta dress a little bit different, dress a little different. So here go the girlfriend. She trying to style us. She going through the girlfriend's closet because she went in the girlfriend room. She coming out with the stuff from the girlfriend, the sister. Well, I mean, the sister, the sister room. Uh, okay, let me say that over. So this girlfriend was going into the sister's room and trying to find stuff for us to wear. So she like, oh, my sister gonna trip like if I go through her stuff. So she like, she ain't gonna be home until like way later. We'll be back by then. Like she'll never know. Like I'll tell her that I just was like looking through her stuff or something. So she like, all right. So she picking me out. I'm like, I don't know. I'm over here just picking stuff of her stuff because I'm like, I don't want to put your sister clothes on. Mind you, I ain't never met this girl sister a day in my life. I'm not trying to put your sister clothes on and then come back to your house. And she like you got my clothes on so i was telling her like i'm gonna keep my clothes in my bag so when y'all drop me off at home afterwards i could just change in the car and give you the stuff back because i don't want it to be like no confusion so she like oh no girl like it's cool like it's cool just leave your stuff here like you don't need nothing in your purse <laughs> and i was like okay like just you know what and she's like you know what here actually wear this purse because it go better so the sister was like oh i got a purse even better and when in the sister room she came back with this fucking big ass gucci bag so she like wear this purse it goes even better so i'm like girl no y'all do it entirely too much so i'm like where are we going so she was like we're gonna go to melrose so i'm like oh, okay so the girl was like yeah you gotta just dress up like you just want to be dressed up or whatever she was like so yeah so just wear this purse so i'm thinking like this doing too much 
but you putting me in your sister clothes and in her big ass tote Gucci bag. So I'm like, okay, let's hurry up and get up out of here before she come up in the house and be like, bitch, what your bald headed ass is doing in my shit? I don't know. So anyway, we end up getting ready. So now we finna leave. She go up in there. She talked to her mom. She like, mom, can I use your car or whatever? Like, like can the girlfriend use the car? So she like, no, y'all not finna use my car. Like, I'm finna go out. It's Friday night. I'm finna go. So I'm thinking like... How we get into how are we get it to where we get into? So she like, dang, my mom won't let me let us use the car. Let's just go. So I'm like, how we get in there? Like, how are we getting there? So just like we're gonna catch the bus. Mind you, I'm no stranger to the bus. But baby, what? Back then I didn't care about long bus rides, but it was just the fact that it was like, girl, we're gonna be on the bus and on the bus back home. I don't think we should be having shorts on and shit. It's kind of going to be breezy outside. But anyway, she was like, no, it's cool. We're going to get a ride back home. So, y'all, we end up going to stand at the bus stop. We caught the bus or whatever to the train station, hopped on the train, start going towards um, that side of town. So, I'm like, you know, not thinking of that. But why were we on the bus? Mind you, it's so many places still on the bus. We sitting in the back of the bus. And y'all know how you have, like, the little connected seat right there where you can sit across from each other. I'm sitting on one side. She's sitting on one, like, Melanie is sitting on the same side as me, and then the sister girlfriend is sitting on another side. So she was like, Melanie, what did you, like, why are you sitting way over there? Mind you, girl, do you, you can come sit on this side, and I'm thinking, like, you heard her sit next to you, go, it's not that deep. So she's like, Melanie, why are you sitting way over there? So she looked at her, and she just started laughing, like, Melanie looked at her and started laughing. And she was like, you fake as fuck, like, you fake. So she was just like, <laughs> and then she was like, Simone, hold on real quick, you hold my bag. And she left her bag by me. Why she go over there and sit on the girlfriend lap? Mind you, this is her sister's girlfriend. So she's still on the, and it's a grown ass woman. She's still on the girlfriend lap, and that's how we was riding the whole time. So we just talking. I'm like, so what y'all be doing on Melrose and stuff like that? She's like, you know, by like Fairfax, like everybody be up over there and stuff like that. Just be like fun, a lot of stuff going on. So I'm like, oh, okay, like, yeah, I've heard people going over there and stuff. Like, she's like, yeah, it just be a lot. A lot of stuff to do the whole ride when i'm telling y'all the whole ride even when we got off that bus to get on another bus she sat on the girlfriend lap and i was just i thought it was weird you know hey but who am i so anyway we ended up getting off the bus we finally get to where we going we walk in and we just like walking just down the street it is a lot of people out and stuff like that but she like oh i want to go to that store i want to go to this store i want to go to that store so we go up in the store mind you we in the store, I'm in the front, I'm looking, I'm looking at this shit like, she did say she gonna give me something, but I'm not even finna ask, like, because I don't, I, it's just, I don't never want nobody to say they did nothing for me. So, I'm just looking at the stuff, I'm looking like, damn, a $100 bathing suit, ooh, they could shut that shit on my ass. But I'm looking at it, I'm just looking at the stuff, they in the back, they talking like, girl, you see anything you like? I'm like, yeah, this bathing suit is super cute, but I don't know, they're like, try it on, girl, just try it on. I'm like, I don't know if I wanna try it on. And the lady was like, yeah, um, you can only try it on the top. Like, you can't try on the bottom. So, I'm like, yeah, no, it's fine. So, then, I'm like, no, they, like, see something else. Like, what about them shorts you was looking at? Like, what about that outfit you was looking at? Try on that dress, girl. Try it on. They just tell me to try it on. Mind you, they way in the back of the store yelling to the front. So, they're like, girl, just try it on the dress. Like, try it on. So, I'm like, okay. Like, why do you want me to try on the dress so bad? So, I'll end up going to go try on the dress, y'all. They talking to me. But mind you, she was like standing outside the fitting room and she was like, yeah, but mind you, it don't really be no fitting room like that. It just be like a cloth and yeah. So she's standing outside of it. When I went in, the next thing you know, I'm hearing her from like the other end of the store. Like she yelling like, how you like it? And I'm like, oh, it's cute. Like, hold on. She's like, come on, let me see. Like, let me see. And the girlfriend, like, yeah, let me see. I want to see how you looking it. Like, you probably look so good. Like, come on, like, let us see. And I'm wondering, like, maybe they shopping and stuff like that. But I'm thinking, like, why are they talking to me from the other end of the store? Like, one, one, wherever I was at in the store, like, even if I do go look by where they at, they will go to the whole other side of the store and we be yelling back and forth in the store. So I thought I already thought that was weird as hell. So they like try it on. But you know, like certain little stores, when you in there for too long or once you walk up in there they already eyeballing you staring you down like bitch what is you doing up in here so when i went to the fitting room the people kind of was in the back like the lady she was in the back waiting for she's like yeah like um do you like it like how does it fit do you need another size you know they already kind of own you and it was two people in the store like the guy and the lady so the lady was right there the guy he kind of like moving around the store and stuff too so i'm like hold on let me see like i'm gonna try this on so then she ended up coming she's like try this on someone like try these on and she put gave me some pants so i'm thinking like bitch i didn't even say i like these pants she was like just try those try those on i want to see how those pants look on you because i got these same pants at home and i want us to match one day at school Girls, giving you want to lick my coach. So I'm thinking like, um, okay. So I'm trying them on. So at this point, the people, when I finally come out the fitting room, 
Finally. They was like, Simone, you about to come out? Like, they was like, let me see the pants on you. When I came out the fitting room, the guy is back there too by with the lady. He like fake stock and stuff. And I'm thinking like, oh, they must think I'm on some other type of time. I'm like, whole time. And I'm thinking like, I don't know why they thinking we on this type of time. Like, bitch, I got this Gucci bag. My homegirl got her a Chanel -y, a fake. <laughs> I don't know if it was real or fake. I, I don't know. I'm like, they, we got look, we got stuff going on. Like, what is you talking about? Like, she got money. She good for it. That's what I'm thinking. Like, why they on us? But anyway, I could just tell that they was like trying to see like what what the fuck you got going on up in this fitting room so i came out and the guy right there and the lady she's on me right when i come out it's like she was like had her ear to the cloth like you good like did you like it i'm like no i don't like it like it's cool so she's like no you didn't like it i'm like no she was like you know what them ain't even the exact ones i got you know the exact ones i got is at a different store we could go there so then next to you know she's like all right come on let's go and they start walking out the store fast as fuck mind you they in the front of the store when they was talking to me any fucking way they w start walking out the store fast so i'm like okay so when i'm walking out the store the lady was like looking at me and stuff and i'm just looking like the fuck pop that bag up on my shoulder even though the shit ain't mine so i'm walking out and i'm like what the hell what was that about so they laughing they walking fast as fuck they laughing they're like let's cross the street we end up jaywalking damn they get hit by a car she was like what'd you get i said what she was like what'd you get i said what did I, I didn't get nothing. Like, I didn't like the way the dress fit or the pants fit. And then at this point, I'm thinking like, bitch, you told me you was gonna, <laughs> even though, like I said, I wasn't gonna ask her to buy me shit. But bitch, you know I didn't come down here with no money like this to be buying no more stuff for me stoves. What you mean what I get? You said you was gonna get me something, but nah. So she was like, oh girl, I got this. Like she opening her bag up and showing me all the shit she got. Still motherfuckers was in there stealing. And I'm like, oh, my thing is like, Maybe she thought, like, bitch, duh, you know what the fuck time it is. But, like, I didn't. I didn't know what time it was. You should have told me. Mind you, at this point, I didn't get... Who who put me in, like, a... You know what? It was toxic. When that turned... When she had, like, her sticky finger days, she was like, try it. I gotta tell y'all, because we ended up getting caught. That's a whole nother story. But, yeah. This point, this wasn't that. So, I'm like, oh, that's what you know? She's like, yeah, we getting stuff. Like, we, um... They was, like, basically stealing. So, I was like, oh... I'm kind of slow. So she's like, girl, yeah. Like, that's how she be. She's like, girl, what the fuck? She's like, don't tell nobody at school, though. Like, don't tell nobody. That's how I be getting my shit. But yeah, this was like, that's what she be doing. She was like, we ain't gonna hit the designer stores today. Like, if we had the car, we would have been hitting up all type of stores. She's like, because I need some truths. I need this. And I'm just thinking like, bitch, we doing this shit on the train? Like, no, because it's like, how are we doing this on the bus? I know people do probably do this shit on the bus, but baby, uh, anyway, so we go on from store to store to store to store. One store we go up in, it was a bathing suit store. They had all bathing suits, a whole bunch of bikinis, expensive as fuck, one piece is all that. She asked me which ones I like. She was like, she gonna give me some shit because she was like, yeah, just let me, just swap bags with me. Here, you hold my bag, I hold yours. Big mistake, mind you, her bag was filled up, mine wasn't. Now it makes sense to why they wanted me to have a big ass purse. Her bag, and then they said because we had designer purses, like we wouldn't be looked at as much. Her bag filled up, mine not, because we going to stores. I'm not taking shit, cause I don't, I don't steal. It, I would say at this point, I don't steal now either. But I did have a time. I feel like everybody had a time in their teenage years where they was like taking stuff. But anyway, so I'm holding her purse, right? <sighs> we go to the store. She got her purse. We go in there. She asked me like, "Oh, this look cute." I'm like, "Yeah, like." That's cute. Like, that's cute. She was like, all right, I'm going to get this one. She was like, because we could go take pictures. She was telling me her mama boyfriend got a pool, and we could go take pictures out. That's a whole nother motherfucking story time. Cause this bitch. Anyway. Yeah. So, she was like, we could take pictures. So, she getting us matching bathing suits. At this point, I knew she didn't want to be my best friend because she had one. I said, yeah, this girl want to me. And <laughs> I don't know if I'm on that. But anyway, yeah, she getting us stuff. The girlfriend getting stuff. The girlfriend getting mad now. The sister girlfriend getting mad. She like, wait. Why y'all bitches getting matching matching bathing suits? So the sister girlfriend is getting so mad in the store to where she's talking kind of loud. So she like, shut the fuck up. Like, shut up. She's like, no. Like, why y'all bitches getting matching bathing suits? She's like, Melanie, let me find out. You like, girl. So Melanie like, what the fuck? No, I don't. Mind you, everybody at school knew. Like I said, they used to get wild in them bathrooms. And you wouldn't really walk into a store and hear that shit. And I used to be like, bro, fucking girl bathrooms stank bad as shit. And why is you... Why is you doing this at school? Maybe she had nowhere else to do it. I don't know. Field trips on a field trip bus, baby. <laughs> don't send it back. But anyway, so I guess she didn't tell her family that she liked girls yet. But she used to date this one boy, which her family was backwards as hell because I have a lot of stories with this girl. And she ended up coming to my adult years. But her family was backwards as hell because your mom, 
her mom ended up having an issue when she came out and she was like blaming the sister but mind you melanie was like the rat of la like not rat like the girl rat but they they neck and neck like melanie was one of them people like later in life if you talk to a ninja and you found out like he messed with her it'd be like i mean that's expected like you know he'd be like oh it's expected like I couldn't be like oh I'm gonna bring her to people be like oh nah like if I, it, can't, it was multiple times like two different occasions where I told a dude he was like you bring your homegirl oh send a picture for my homie and I'd be like oh he asked to send a picture and I sent a picture of her and they'd be like yeah that ain't gonna work cause I've heard her before and it'd be like Bruh. at some point it was just like it's expected like she seven enemy um I don't know. I ain't finna name everybody. Anyway, anyway, anyway. But yeah, like I said, not even saying because of that, but her family didn't care. And plus, she had a grown-ass boyfriend that used to come to the house. So I'm like, okay, you don't want your daughter to like girls, but you don't mind her liking grown men and clearly this girl. I don't know. But yeah, so the girlfriend, the sister girlfriend getting mad as hell. And she like, you fake. Like, you be acting funny. She like, we we close as hell. And you ain't even trying to get no bathing suit with me. Like, we close. So she was like, get you a matching bathing suit with my sister. Like, you know. So she was like, girl, you know, like... Pretty much she hung out, the sister and her dated, but like the sister used to work and shit, so she used to hang out with Melanie a lot, like kind of too much. But yeah, so she was just like, yeah, that's fake, like that's weird. So could we get something matching too? So she like, you want the same one as us? So she like, no, could we get something matching? She loud, so she like, shut up. Like the lady in the walking by, she was like, are y'all okay? Like everything's fine? Did you want to try on that orange bathing suit? Cause I keep hearing orange bathing suit. So the lady like, yeah, she said like that though. So. Uh, Melanie like no it's fine I don't see my size like, I don't see my size so she like what size did you need mind you all the sizes right there so she like what size did you need so she was like oh um, I just need um, yeah this it's just not gonna fit like none of this is gonna fit me right like I could tell I put it up to me it's just not gonna fit so she was like okay so the lady looking I'm just like Phew. so at this point I go to the other end of the store the lady come up to me she was like everything's fine she looked at me when she looked at me y'all she looked right at the purse i'm paranoid because i'm like this motherfucker is kind of puffy she's like everything's fine i said yeah everything's fine everything's good she was like okay just making sure you see anything you like i said when i see something like i'll buy it we've been buying stuff all day <laughs> y'all i don't know why i said that i don't know why i said that so she was like okay like she looked at me like bitch where's your bags probably in the car the invisible batmobile bitch don't worry about it so she's like okay so they over there having a little back and forth so then the girlfriend come over there to me and she was like do melanie talk to girls like you melanie talking like what y'all you melanie effing like she was saying and i'm like no like we just friends at school she's like okay y'all just friends at school she's like because we be trying to ask melanie all the time like do you like girls like she ain't scared to come out or whatever like that and i'm like oh i don't know like you know because Oh, why are you asking me? So she's like, Melanie, so why are you trying to get matching bathing suits with her if that's not your girlfriend, if this is your little friend? You have a best friend. Your best friend be coming to the house. So why are you trying to get matching bathing suits with this little girl if you already got a best friend and she this is her first time coming to the house? And I'm just like, oh my God, let me get about this story because you get on my nerves. So the lady was like, so which bathing suit do y'all want? Like, you know, so she come over there again. I'm like, fuck. So... At this point, when she come over there talking to me and the sister girlfriend, Melanie is still in the other end of the store. She just got thirsty with it. And I guess she starts stuffing. I could see her. So I'm like, no, it's fine. So Melanie was like, you know what? Let's just leave. Like, I'm ready to go. Like, let's just go. So I was like, all right. So we, she started walking out the door. Mind you, why the bathing suit is hanging out the purse? So the lady was like, wait. So we hurry up. I'm start running out of the store because what? I start running out the store and the girl's running. But the way the sister girlfriend was running, y'all, I low key felt like she wanted me to get caught because the way she was running she was running weird like she didn't want me to pass her up like she's who running like this like girl i'm not trying to catch your baby daddy you ain't gotta run like you trying to stop me so i'm like what the fuck is up with her the lady must have pulled the bag like one of the straps of my bag and when she pulled it some of the stuff like when she pulled like she pulled the bag and she like grabbed and it was like open and i had a lot of stuff in that purse because of of her it was her purse so i'm like oh my god so she's like i'm gonna call the police because i end up like yanking away she's like i'm gonna call the police so we run now we running out the store we running i'm like where the fuck are we gonna go so she was like we gotta go we gotta go it's hot and um melanie was like yeah we got it like melanie's the one saying we gotta go because it's hot the girlfriend was like no i i need to get something something like it was something else she wanted to get so she was like bitch no it's hot like we finna go well you get it yourself so she was like for real she was like i think okay well let me ask your sister if she could come get us let me see if she off work 
So she like, girl, we cannot go in my sister's car. She's like, first of all, my sister told her sister told her like she really didn't want her hanging out with the sister. They used to hang out behind her back. So she's like, we can't get in her car with her shit on. And me and you hanging out. She was like, I'll just tell her I ran into you when I was down here or something like that. So she was like, nah, like, no, don't call her. It's cool. We could catch the bus. So I'm thinking like, you sure you don't want to call your sister? Because bitch, I could put on some of it. <laughs> I'm thinking like, I'm going to put on some of this merchandise. And we go get a car because I'm scared. She's like, Simone, no, it's fine. Like, you know how many times people say they're going to call the police? They're not going to really call. She's like, we just got to go. Like, we just can't be around here because if she sees us, then most definitely they're going to call. So I'm like, if they call, like, what's going to happen? Y'all, at this point, I'm stressed the fuck out because my mom told me to be home at like eight o'clock at this point it's like 6 30 we have to get on the bus all the way to back the fuck home i'm like bro i'm not gonna make it y'all just stress the fuck out because i she she don't even know i'm out here she think that i'm at her house so then if i tell her like oh we end up going here she's gonna be mad like why you didn't call me so i'm like oh my god so we end up getting on the bus whatever we end up making it to the train station right so now we're at the train station and if you know you know who paying for them tickets who paying for the, i never used to pay for a train ticket like sometimes if i know the police is there or the police there like damn i gotta buy a damn train ticket but yeah so we at the we at that part i'm like happy because i'm like oh we got away we good mind you at this point i'm still holding melanie's bag while she got my bag with just a few little items in there so i'm like melanie oh you want your bag back i already kept asking her whole time she's like yeah just hold that one like just just hold it like we'll, it's cool we got to divide everything when we get to the house anyway so like i said now like i said we caught the train the bus to the train station we at the train station we under there Today was just not the motherfucking day. When I tell you, for one, Melanie is getting into it with the sister girlfriend. They get into it over some whole other shit because the sister girlfriend is in her feelings. I really feel like the sister girlfriend probably, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. She and her feelings about some shit. So they loud, low key, like getting into it. And she like, girl, whatever. Like they just get into it. So next thing you know, the police end up walking up. Our heart is beating fast. I'm like, oh, please be here to touch the track. Something don't come back. Nothing. At this point, I'm scared. I'm like, oh my God. No. <laughs> no. So they ended up walking up to us and they was like, can we see your train tickets? I'm like, fuck, we better get a ticket. At this point, I'm thinking we're going to go to jail. I don't know why I'm thinking this, even though it's like, I know damn well they ain't gonna take you to jail but i'm over here stressed the fuck out so the sister was like oh my ticket she was like i have my tap card or whatever so she was like he was like can i see it like you know can i see it or whatever so she's like hold on so she's going through her purse or whatever like that and melanie was like it you didn't ask them she was like is it because we're black like you didn't ask them if you could see their car you literally walked past them and came straight to us he was like man we're gonna go ask them too we just asking y'all first so she was like getting in two with them and they like you, like you know basically going back and forth with her like it's friday and if you want to do this like you could be sitting in jail the whole the whole over the weekend and da, 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 da. so she getting into with them i'm like oh my god the partner ended up asking me he was like well you know but show me yours show me your ticket i'm like so he like, well, just show me your ticket then because he's waiting on, you know, why she kind of like getting to him. And he was like, ma'am, like, you know, like if you want to take it further, I could arrest you. All this other shit. So she like, da -da -da -da, like I'm like, he like, show me your ticket. And yo, <laughs> I'll start going through the purse. He said, where are you coming from? I was like, huh? I was like, where are you coming from? Why do you have so much stuff in your purse? Like clothes because my y'all got her purse. I'm like, huh? So he was like, where are you coming from? So I said, why are, why are they asking where we come? <laughs> y'all i'm like why are they asking where we're coming from i was not quick on my feet back then and he was like can i see your can i go through your purse ma'am so i'm stressed i said i'm getting my ticket like i'm getting my ticket right now and i was like i actually i just can't find the ticket like i can't find it he was like can i see your bag like you know so the sister girlfriend was like no you don't have the right to search them they're minors da, da, da. i'm like oh thank god she came through she's like you don't have the right to search them like what's your reason for searching them she was like why do you have so much clothes in your bag Oh, yeah, mind you, I'm over here trying to like adjust it. I was like, I'm looking for my ticket. Look, that is not answer the question of what this man just asked me. I'm looking for my ticket, sir, because I'm like, no, some of the stuff still had the damn sensors on it. So I'm like, bro, hell no. Nah. Like, I don't want him to see this. And now I got a bigger issue. And then this is I'm holding this purse. So this is on me. So I'm like, damn. So he was like, all right, I'm gonna give you a ticket or whatever. When she started talking about like they minors and all this other stuff. And she was like, well, she was like, we're minors. She said she was one too. He was like, all right, I'm gonna just give you a ticket or whatever. 
he was all like, you don't have no identification on you or whatever. So I'm like, no. He was like, can I see? So I only opened the little zipper part of the bag. I'm like, it's no, I I don't have no ID or near, like no school ID or nothing like that. So he was like, okay, y'all, this is how I used to be. A sh I used to be, <laughs> I used to be annoying, y'all. Whenever I used to get a ticket, because I learned like, oh, just get him a fake name. Y'all, it used to be fun at one point, because I swear, especially when I be with my sister, we'd get the most crazy names. I'd be like Whitney Jackson or <laughs> Mariah Carey. My sister's like, don't do too fucking much because you doing some stupid shit and i was like oh my bad but yeah so i ended up giving them a name y'all i don't know why an address could not come to mind i can't think of that address why i literally gave them fucking toxic address because <laughs> i was like not my address i gave him a it wasn't toxic name though but i gave him a um a name a fake name and i gave him toxic address so it was like okay like you know like all right whatever we got our tickets and they made us still go pay for the damn train ticket so we went and paid for the train ticket or whatever and we left i was stressed when i tell you i was stressed because that whole little situation with them the train had already went by so now we gotta wait for another one i was stressed the fuck out because i'm like time is ticking y'all when i tell you my mom started calling my phone this is around the time when it was sidekicks so I didn't have the thing where it had, you know, if, she, if I answer, she's going to run out my minutes. Y'all, this is how dumb I was. I was always thinking, like, if I answer the phone, it's going to run out my minutes. And then my dad, he don't answer my calls. He ain't going to give me no more minutes. And then, like, y'all, I used to be stressed. So I'm like, I can't answer the phone. My mom was texting me going, the, she said, when you come home, I'm like, bro, we was on the bus, the last bus. And I was like, you know what? Because remember I told y'all we didn't live far from each other. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just stay on the bus and go home. She's like, you sure you could come to the house? We could divide the stuff. And then uh, my mom could take you home. I was like, no, I got to go. Like, I got to go. But I'm not telling her that my mom is texting me telling me that ass is grass when you get home. I'm over here stressed the fuck out. I'm like, I got to go. I just got to go. She's like, Simone, but what about your bathing suit? So the girl was like, if she don't want it, I'll take it. So I'm like, it's, it's cool. I'll just get it from you at school or something like that. It's okay. Oh, my God. God, I walk, I'm walking up, my sister outside with her boyfriend, I'm like, Tatiana, please, I'm like, please, <laughs> y'all, I'm like, please, tell her, tell her I was at Toxic House, tell her I was at China House, tell her I was at Tati House, tell her I was somewhere, please, I'm like, please, Tatiana didn't play those games, she didn't like to save me, she was like, ha <laughs> ha! She said, oh, no. She said, oh, you know you in trouble, right? I was like, no. I was so scared. I don't even know why I was scared. It's just so funny now because looking back on it, y'all, my mom only whooped me once ever in life. And that was when I was, like, in the second grade. I was in the second or first grade, and I came home at midnight. And she had the nerve to whoop me because she was trying to show out in front of her older sister, in front of my auntie. Like, girl, you knew where I was at? <laughs> you knew that? I always came home late. Me and my sister was at our friend house. So it was like, the nerve, girl. I really came home at midnight. <laughs> when I be saying that to her, I said to her the other day, I said, and you only did it because you was trying to show off. But yeah, my mom literally only with me once in life. So I don't know why I was like stressed out. But I was stressed because I'm like, maybe, oh God. Like I was so stressed. Tatiana now, her ass used to get whoopings because she she was bad. But me, I was a good kid. So yeah. Um, But I was stressed to hell. Oh my God. When I got home, she was like, oh, you can't go to that girl. What was y'all doing? You know, and I'm stuttering over words because at this point, she probably thinking like we went and met up with some boys or went to some boys' house. She's like, why you wasn't answering the phone? I'm like, mom, I'm in ass. Like, I'm over here just stressed the hell out. It was bad, but it wasn't that bad. Like, she took my phone or whatever, but it's like, I was going to say, never mind. She took my phone. I was going to say, bitch, we got a computer. But not nah, bitch. But she took my phone. But it's like we had a computer. And then she, the type, my mom was the type that she ain't going to take your stuff for too long. She going to give it back. She going to feel bad. So, yeah. But it was cool, though. She told me I couldn't go to old girl house again. But, like, I, I ended up finding ways around that. But, <laughs> yeah. But that was it, y'all. Literally, we almost got caught up. I thought we was going to go to jail when that police was trying to take the bag. I thought we was going to go to jail. I was stressed. Because imagine now I'm in jail and I'm way on this side of town. You got to come get me. Girl, what the f is going to go on? Like, you know, so that was it. But, yeah, with this girl, oh, my. Anyway, but, yeah, that's it for this story time, you guys. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you like this video because them likes don't be adding up. And y'all piss me off with that shit. Okay. We better than that. What the f We better. I'm just kidding. But we better than that though for real. But yeah, that's it for this video. I like, I like you guys. <laughs> I was going to say I like you guys so much. But I do. But I'll see y'all in my next video.